Hello comrades, Kamisa Bro here today with, surprisingly enough, just a regular old Super Power 2 video. That's right. And, more importantly, I'm actually playing as Djibouti. That's right, I haven't done that for a long time. Oh my. It's been like a year or some change. Somewhere around there. It's just been like a year. Something like that. Basically, I'm playing the Realism 2016 mod from Phoenix. That's right, he just released an updated version a couple days ago. And I'm like, dude, it's been a while since I've played a, a decent mod, so why don't I check this one out? So, I started as Djibouti, and as I, you know, said before, the core concept still pretty much works the same. You go and you take over Somalia, and then I took over another country that was here called, I think, Putland or Quitland or something like that. I don't remember now. And uh, then you, I allied with the Katumo state of Somalia. I probably should have just conquered them, but hey, you know what? Relations are kind of shifty. And I was part of an alliance that I got kicked out of because, you know, I'm a doucher. <laughs> and I was considering on going to war with the Somali government here, but uh, that also seemed like it might not be such a good idea because the world already pretty much hates me. I've been improving my uh, diplomatic relations with my neighbors, but all things considered, pretty much everyone doesn't care too much for me. Like, I mean, it's not, like, devastatingly bad. No one's declaring war on me or anything like that. But I am most certainly not in the best of areas. And corruption's pretty fucking high. Like, I mean, come on. That's 88% corruption. If we're actually gonna look at our budget, look at how much that is. I'm losing $56 million to corruption. That's Painful, absolutely painful. Yes, and we're getting a significant, like, you know, pretty much four fifths of our total income or so from other countries. That's right. And the rest of it we're generating ourselves. Our taxes are actually pretty abysmal. So, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to bring down taxes about 20% because I'm not really getting much money from them anyway. Oh, I brought him down 30%. Whatever. See, like, look, it d didn't even dent it, man. Didn't even dent it. Oh, am I paused? I'm paused. I should probably press play. Is that it? Really? Wow. <laughs> That's how little money I was actually making from income tax. That I got rid of it, and it barely even put a dent in anything. But, it will make our stability and our approval ratings go up. Um, and since, again, our balance isn't that bad... I see no reason to charge such high taxes uh, when we're barely making anything as is. Plus, you know, like I said, we'll, we'll, we'll get on better terms with the people and lower corruption. Corruption's about to tank now that taxes are so low. Um, yeah, and that's kind of the way we'll do it. Is we'll build up our citizens' income. They'll start making more money. We'll start making more money. Everybody will make a little bit more money. That's the overall plan here. Yeah, yeah, so... Pretty much all we can do now is wait, and uh, while we're waiting, I guess I'll introduce a couple of other things in this mod. Now, again, this mod works to add a bunch of different uh, groups. It's very similar to the other mods we've seen, like Mr. Monday's mod, and so on and so forth. I'm not going to say who started doing all the realism stuff first, because I don't really think it matters. Um, with that in mind, though, like I said, this is, this is a pretty cool one. It adds a couple of... Uh, factions and whatnot that I haven't seen. I haven't seen Somalia split up into so many different countries, for example. That's a pretty interesting state of affairs. Um, I don't know, is, is uh, what's, what's it called? Boko Haram? Are they? I wonder if they're in here. It's like a political control. Um, I don't think so. Again, I don't actually remember where they are, like where they're located. Now, uh, there is different factions like the Libyan opposition uh, and stuff like that. I think they pretty much got their tail whipped by the Libyan Republic earlier uh, in the game. Oh, who's this? Oh, yes, yes, San Marino. Hmm. And it seems like everybody has a pretty good amount of money. Now, some time has passed. Um, uh, six years so far has passed. So, some of the countries that were making... Whoa, okay, excuse me. France's economy is gigantic right now. They are doing very, very well. Um, so, actually, I probably should have made better friends with France and got them to pay off some of my debt or something before I started declaring war on people willy-nilly. Surprisingly enough, I actually used to have a pretty good reputation amongst the greater powers in the world, but not anymore. No, no, they don't trust me. They don't trust me at all. Look at it. Look at China. You're doing so well for yourself, China. 
$8,000 per citizen. Not bad, not bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. North Korea is struggling, as per usual. Uh, the Republic of Korea. Oh my goodness. That's a, that's a fat economy you got there, baby girl. Mm, mm, mm. Japan's got a fat economy too. Huh. I always thought Japan's economy was better than uh, France. I thought Japan had one of the biggest economies in the world. I could be wrong. I actually no no no. I'm pretty sure I'm right on that one. Pretty sure I'm right. Now the U.S. has started to uh, their income has gone down as time has passed, which sounds about right. The <laughs> their debt is in the trillions. That's it's that's a very realistic thing to see. We are incredibly indebted <laughs> at the moment. But it's good to see that the U.S. is balancing the budget over there. They're doing pretty good for themselves. Personal income tax, 82%. Per capita, 65,000. Sounds about right. Total one, uh, 21 in uh, tr uh, trillions. I think that might be a bit more than it is currently. But again, six years have passed since the game started, so economies have grown a bit. I mean, Djibouti's economy has gone up times 10. It is, was it deci de de I don't know how you would do times ten. How you would say that? Like like quadruple, but desk quadruple, <laughs> something like that. That's right. So so you're wondering, you're wondering, what what are we doing with Djibouti? Well, as I said previously, most of the world doesn't really care too much for us, and I'm not exactly trying to pick fights with anybody because I don't have the means to beat them. Somebody kicked me out of foreign aid. That's not good. That's not good at all. Let's get some positive foreign aid in this bitch. Let's get people to like me again. Because we need to get them up at least, what is it, 45? I think to get get them to give money to you. Okay, Israel's got no money. Uh, what about Germany? Will you give me money, Germany? Economic aid. I love you. We were always best friends in school. Sweet. Germany sending us some sweet, delicious economic aid. If only we could get some from France. Mm, yes, France is doing so well for themselves. What about Spain? Spain's not doing bad. Spain's... you could recover from that. Let's see. Alright, well, we're still not doing that great. But, getting help... getting Germany to help us really assisted us, so let's bump this up a bit more and see if we can't get some more economic aid from another unsuspecting victim. What about Romania? Nope, Romania fucking hates us. What about Yugos uh, Serbia? I was about to say Yugoslavia. Nope, Serbia doesn't like us either. Italy! Is that, is that, is that high enough? I can't remember. Is it 35 or 40? See, this is how you can tell I haven't been playing Super Power 2 lately. Yeah, it's 40. Nope, not high enough. Nope, not high enough. We'll send another one to Germany. Fuck it. Ooh, what about Latvia? I'm sure they've got my, Ooh, what about Belgium? Belgium and ne the Netherlands. Wow, they really don't like us. <laughs> they hate Russia. Ooh, they hate Russia. What you doing over there, Russia? Pissing people off? Jeez, should probably chill out with that, Russia. Thought you wanted to be friends with people. Latvia, Latvia's making some money. Send me some economic aid, Latvia. I'll be your best friend. Uh, okay, Lithuania, we can get some economic aid from them too. Now again, you can only get up to about, I think it's what, 90% of your expenses paid by other countries. So honestly, we're probably at that threshold by this point. But in case anybody cancels any economic aid treaties with us, We'll have these other countries waiting in the wings to start paying our bills. What's going on? So Russia and Denmark are actually at war. Yes, the Vikings rise again. The Danes go forth and prosper. My Danish brothers, even though we're in Djibouti. Sweet. We still got no monies. Djibouti has no monies. Oh, there we go. We're making a little bit of monies. Yeah. Look at, me, look at that, look at that, that's ridiculous. 528 million in foreign aid. That's how much we're getting in foreign aid to pay our bills. <laughs> and we're pretty much just waiting for the economy to grow a little bit bigger. And see, I can raise it again because my expenses, as my expenses go up, so will the amount of foreign aid that these guys are paying towards me to help me keep everything in line. At least it should go up. But again, there will still be a little bit of a deficit when it does go up. Or it's gonna try to. It's gonna be like, nah, commissar, bro. You're fucking full of shit. You don't know what you're talking about. Uh, as my foreign aid goes down, see now they're just trying to prove me wrong. Now they're like, oh, he's talking shit. Like he knows what he's talking about. Fuck this guy. Oh wow, the United States is that? Is that Mongolia? The hell? No, no, no. It's gotta be Montenegro, right? Al Albania. 
Oh, Serbia. Serbia's being conquered. Oh, goodness. <laughs> well, that's an interesting state of affairs. Uh, let's look at the war list. What's going on? Yeah, see, the United States and Luxembourg are at war with Montenegro. Chile is at war with Mexico. Denmark with the Donetsk People's Republic. Huh. Saudi Arabia with Hezbollah. Uh, Saudi Arabia with the Libyan opposition. The Syrian Arab Republic in Western Kurdistan. Turkey with Western Kurdistan. Yemen against Al-Shabaab. Al-Shabaab? I like saying that. Al-Shabaab. The Luhansk People's Republic against Mexico. And the Libyan opposition versus the Taliban. Hmm. It's an interesting state of affairs. And we're just sitting over here looking absolutely dashing. How much do my military forces cost? Barely anything. Hmm, hmm, hmm. We might have to find some more economic aid, my good man. What about Georgia? Sweet Georgia. Nope, nope. Sweet Georgia's not going to pay our bills. Damn it. Hmm, that's just the struggle, isn't it? Figuring out who... Ooh, Barbados! Yeah, hello, Barbados. Would you like to pay my bills? Ah, oh, delicious. I knew I could count on you, Barbados. Yeah, it was still kind of, kind of high. Yes, yes. Why do like? Okay, what about the Libyan opposition? How much money are you guys making over there? Why are your resources 259 percent, but you're so hopelessly broke? Huh? 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 Hmm. That's not good. What we do want to do is I would like to do like some sort of common market treaty with somebody and get them to pay my stuff, but I don't think I'm high enough yet. Uh, I guess I am with uh, good old Germany there. You gotta, you gotta pay some more of my bills there, Germany. <laughs> Feed me your sweet, delicious, overflowing eco economic status and give it to me. Just, just feed it to me. Let's try to sign a common market treaty with uh, good old Canada here. Hello, Canada! Oh, is it Canada except for two? Because, I mean, Canada is meeting production in lots of areas. See that? So, they should pay for some of our stuff. Am I on times four? I feel like this shit is not refreshing. Or at least it's just having that little effect. Because, I mean, come on. If Canada was paying for this, we should be making, you know, we should be doing all right with ourselves. Canada or Germany. I feel like both of them should have the economy meeting. Oh, no, Germany's... Germany is not. <laughs> Only in finished goods and in services are they meeting. Almost in industrials, almost in raw and almost in energy, but food and agriculture, they've got a major deficit there. Mm, no bueno, no bueno at all. Mm, 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 mm. Well, I guess that is what it is. Oh, we have a good chance of being reelected. Oh, yes, our approval's at 61.5%. We still have massively high corruption that must be dealt with. Where's government? Oh, I should probably bump government up to, like, that. Yeah, that's probably a good idea to pay for some of these issues. Get rid of propaganda! We need no propaganda! Let's see if that makes people like us more. Oh, it does. Only by about two points, though. <laughs> we need to get friends to 40! Actually, I need one of these European powers to, like, love me unconditionally. And, God, look, China's at war with Denmark. What the hell did the Danes do? What did... What are you guys doing up there, man? Like, you must be pissing some serious people off right now. Eh, they still got an army. Not much, though, I would imagine. Or at least it's probably going to lose relatively soon. How big is the U.S. army in this game? Okay, still pretty big. And the Russians are still pretty big. What about the Chinese? Ooh, the Chinese are quite massive. <laughs> Goodness gracious. What about the North Koreans? Oh, there they go, having a huge-ass... Infantry army makes no sense. You realize if they would just get rid of half their army, they could probably easily pay their bills. Ah, <sighs> jeez, North Korea. Just sometimes, sometimes, buddy, I feel bad for you. I just feel bad for you. All right, well, this has been Commissar Bro playing a little bit of Superpower Two, the Realism 2016 mod, and clearly I'm, I'm, I'm struggling to pay my bills here. That's the whole goal of what I'm doing right now. Is I want to pay my bills. By God. Pay them, pay them right, the way it was meant to be done. But yes, anyway, we might make a little series out of this. I, I don't know. If you guys want to, sure, why not? You know, if you guys want to set it, see a little bit of that uh, Djibouti action, if you know what I mean? A little bit more of that uh, Djibouti, uh, Djibouti, Djibouti thing? Yeah, you know, how that is. 
just uh, maybe working some economic moves in there, making some sweet money. I just clicked on Ethiopia and thought this was my economy. I got so happy for a second, and then I clicked back on this and realized, oh, no, that's not me. I'm still broke. <laughs> anyway, this has been Kamazaw, bro. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.